Hello friends, in this tutorial we're going to download Sketchware Pro 6.4 Beta 6. So I created this repository on my blog where you can find uh, a number of Sketchware links that I've posted here. I always update this list with the latest Sketchware from 3.9 all the way to 6.4 beta 6 beta 6 is the latest yeah so supersketchstore.com that's the name of the blog i'll leave this link in the description so that you can just go directly here yeah so you can bookmark this because you are sure of finding updates here frequently okay let's download 6.4 beta 6 just click on the link i host the files on mega so that uh, it shouldn't be hard for anyone to download let's click on download and wait for the download to be done then we can install it and check it out so apparently this sketch work comes with many improvements yes yeah, to discuss the improvements you can just check out the git repo at least it was released on the official git repo yeah so you can find the apk there as well then we'll take time to exploit a bit before i sign out yeah so the download is done just save the file let's install it allow unknown sources install let's open it and see what we have in this version okay so the first thing we have our splash as usual and then you'll notice the lag that is caused uh, by sketch we're trying to sign in is no longer there in short you don't need to sign in for you to skip that page then you've got the beta version notice you can read through that just to get what is being talked about yeah and we've got apt2 in here so that's great if you want you can say don't show this anymore you can also join the discord server there or you can just press ok and continue then you have the projects layout let's see what's in the menu create release key store looks interesting is it working don't seem to be working okay developer tools what's new here mode settings okay so far from the feel i can tell it's pretty fast than the other versions that came before it use new version this is new enables custom version code and name for projects interesting enable block text input highlighting looks interesting also that's new yeah so you can play around with these settings and see how they go uh probably don't have much time to start playing with almost everything in here local library still the same yeah just change the write up more clear now okay let's quickly dive inside let's create a dummy project quickly any new views nothing same old views but probably faster yeah let's look at the settings okay build settings d8 dx java 7 java 8 this is the same then we've got clean temporary files show last compile error yeah that's cool show source code oh okay okay that's interesting you can see the source code right there i love this one let's go to menu android manifest yeah this looks like 
what we had in the previous release that all in all it's it's really fast it's really fast the firebase component and admob have really changed this version admob goes to version 20 so the implementation is quite different if you're going to go with these two you really need to get acquainted with the new ways of setting them up yeah so admob also need you to add the app id in your manifest well the firebase links are now supposed to be full links okay so we'll dive into that in probably in our next tutorial yeah so i'll leave the link to this sketchway which you'll find on my blog yeah and you can check it out then drop some comments see whether you like it or not but i can tell you it's really fast it's really really fast